video, I want to show you a quick and easy way to add code coverage to an Angular project. So I'm using Angular 8.2.14 right now. This is just a fresh project. I just created it and scaffolded a uh, Angular project using the Angular CLI. So you can see uh, I just cloned this project, went into the root folder um, using node version 12.16.1 right now. And I created a folder and I just called this project add code coverage demo. Okay. So I'm just going to go into this folder and I also have the project open here in VS Code on the right. So if we run npm test, I didn't change anything in this project yet. It's just a completely fresh scaffold. And we can run the tests. We see we have three success, um, but we're not getting any code coverage. So, um, Let's just get into it and I'll show you why I like code coverage. Uh, it's using Istanbul, which is a very popular tool. And shout out to Jason Sweat. Never met Jason, don't know him, but I actually was fiddling with my Karma config file for a long time, unsuccessfully uh, trying to get this working until I stumbled across his blog post here. And really, it's just these two commands, right? So you need to install some extra NPM dependencies, Chrome Launcher, the HTML reporter, and Karma Coverage Istanbul reporter. Okay, so I'm going to install these. And after that, you really just run ng test with this dash dash code coverage flag. So I'm going to do that. And sorry, this keeps opening outside of my, um, my screen that's being captured right now. Okay, so now we're getting this green hundreds all the way across, very nice. And so now this has created a coverage folder also here. So we can just open this up, open it in our browser. And now we have this nice uh, coverage report generated by a sample. And we can dive in and see um, all of our files. So just to give you an example of why this is awesome, let's create a new component, Angular component, and I'm just going to use the CLI again. So I'm going to do ngg for generate and then c for component, and I'm just going to call this, I'm just going to call this cool comp, cool component. All right. And that nicely created our CSS file, HTML file, the test file, and also the component source file itself. So that is going to be in the source directory. And you can see here I created this cool comp. And let's open this. And you can see it's really just a uh, very bare bones component, imports the HTML file and SAS files. And it's really just a TypeScript class. We have the constructor and then we had ng on init if we wanted to do anything when the component first loads up. And I'm just going to add a new function called foo and foo will take an input that's just a boolean. And I'm going to say 
maybe if input is true, then I want to return number 42. Otherwise, let's return zero. Okay. And so now let's run this with our code coverage again. And you can see now um, that our green hundreds went away because we're not testing. Well, we do have a test for this file, but we're not testing this foo function. And you don't really get a whole lot of information from this output right here. But if we go back to, if we go back to our code coverage report, now we can see, yes, that the, um, the area where we're missing tests is in this cool comp and it's really in this foo function. Okay, so let's start implementing the test for this. So it should create the component. Okay, sorry about that. Well, I was recording this on my phone and it just totally ran out of battery. Rookie mistake, my bad. Anyway, we're back here creating a test for this foo function. And I'm just going to say foo should return 42 when given true, I guess. When input is true, maybe, or that's fine. So we're going to expect component. We can see that in this before each we're creating this component. Uh, so that's going to be created already. And I'm going to call foo and pass in true. And we're going to expect this to be 42. And you can see as I run that now the we're covering all the lines. Um, so we're covering this line now with the test, but you can see that this branch, when input is false, we don't have a uh, test score. And you can see that here also in the 50%. And that's good that we're aware of this, right? Because now we know that we're not testing the case when it's false. And so we can do that. It should return zero when it's false. And now this test should fail because we have 42 here when it should be, uh, it should be zero, right? And is to be, to be may be the wrong matching here. We want to say to equal. And it's still passing, which is a bit strange. Oh, I need to make this false, duh, okay. So now we're getting one failure, good. And cool component should return zero when given false and it failed because we got zero and we're expecting that to be 42. So that is what I was expecting. And let's make this change this to the right thing. So that's how we want our function to work where it returns zero when it's false. So now if I save this, now we have hundreds across the board, so beautiful and our code coverage report looks very nice. So, hopefully you guys recognize how awesome it is to uh, use 
code coverage reports when you're unit testing, doing TDD, it really makes it super obvious where you're missing tests in your code. So I'm going to push all this up. Feel free to take a look at this GitHub project. Uh, but really, you don't need to make any changes to your Karma config file. All you need to do is install those few dependencies and run ng-test with the dash dash code coverage flag. So that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.